So you just saw the log cutting jig in action. I was able to cut a hickory log right down the middle with my new Craftsman bandsaw. So I thought I'd take a minute to uh, break this down, show you how it's made. Very simple construction. I think anyone could make this. It's basically three pieces of three quarter inch plywood. You've got the, uh, the base piece that rides on the bandsaw table. It's got two carriage bolts with the heads countersunk. Those carriage bolts come up through this top piece. Uh, the top piece is basically two pieces glued together in a right angle and then two right triangles are glued to help to act as supports and act as handles to push the uh, jig through the saw. This piece also has two slots cut in it through which the carriage bolts fit. Uh, a couple of wing nuts thread onto the carriage bolts. That secures the top piece to the bottom piece. The slots enable you to move this top piece on the bottom piece. You can turn it to like a taper in case one end of the log is thicker than the other. And that's really uh, that's really it. This top piece has a series of holes there's a series of holes drilled in it. Some of them go straight through, some of them go down at an angle, and just a hodgepodge of, of different, you know, three and a half inch screws go through these holes, and those are used to secure your log to the jig. Because really what you're trying to do here is prevent this log from rotating as it's as the blade is passing through it. If it rotates at all, that's game over. <laughs> um, so really, depending on what type of cut you want to make, um, the cut at the beginning of this video, I just ripped the log right in half. So in that case, you know, I just lined up the center of the log with the edge of this ledge here. If you want to just square off a log so that you can then convert it to like slabs of lumber, you just hang the edge of this log off this ledge by maybe a half an inch, make that cut, rotate it 90 degrees, make another cut, then you've got a right angle that you can just ride, that you can uh, push up against a fence and then just start, you know, set your fence, fence at different uh, thicknesses and cut whatever size lumber you want. And that's what I'm going to do with this log next. I'm going to square it off and just cut as many pieces of maybe three quarter inch. Uh, slabs I can get out of this. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, this bottom base piece is cut to fit exactly between my outer removable fence on the bandsaw and the blade. So I know any piece of the log that's hanging over this ledge is going to hit the blade because the blade is going to ride right along the outer edge of this base piece. So um, I'm going to go ahead and Tear this thing up.
So to get uh, a lot more precise cuts out of this setup, I took this log out to the garage where I have my jointer and I jointed one side perfectly flat. And that's the side that's going to ride up against my fence for my next cut. That will, and so that'll ensure a much more precise, precisely dimensioned cut. I won't have one side might be a little wavy, but the other side's going to be perfectly flat. I can take this out to the uh, planer, put this flat side down, and have a nicely dimensioned piece of lumber. Pretty nice. All right, well, that's about all I need to show you with this uh, log cutting jig. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this log, cut a few more, run these things through the planer, put them on the table saw, and make a little, uh, a little bluebird house out of them. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Slots that the carriage bolts go through, and a couple of wing nuts thread onto the carriage bolts. These slots, what the f are you f***ing doing? <laughs> Take two.